Hi, my name is John Everett, and today I'd like to talk to you about product repair. Specifically, I'd like to introduce you to the Model 500 XL and its potential repair after we've had it in service for a number of years. Now, this is, again is a Model 500 XL, and let's say you've had this valve in service, oh, you know, five, seven years, and all of a sudden it's no longer working. We know that it's time for a repair. Well, a very common call from my customer with a question that revolves around, will the repair work? is a standard thing that I hear virtually every day. For example, they know that they can buy a repair kit from Zern Wilkins, but they're not so confident if they put those parts in there that the product will continue to function correctly. So with that in mind, what I'd like to do is show you some areas within the Model 500 XL whereby you should look at first, and that will determine whether or not the repair kit's going to be effective for you. What I've got here is I've got a body of a 1 inch 500 XL and I've cut it in half so that I can point out those interior components or areas that you should look at before you attempt to repair. Now when we put this together I'm just going to go ahead and set this diaphragm in here to give you an indication of what it looks like. It basically sets you know like yay. But inside the valve itself, and let me set these components aside, we have an O-ring bore. Now this particular O-ring bore, and I can show you on the stem itself, there's an O-ring on the stem that separates your incoming water from your outgoing water. And that O-ring seals against a bore within the body itself. When you take this valve apart, the first thing I would want you to do is to inspect that O-ring bore. Now, if that O-ring bore has got any light pitting in it, let's say maybe even a little patina growth, you know, that green color that we get whenever bronze is exposed to water, etc., you can generally take a little bit of fine sandpaper, put it on your finger, and get in there and polish that bore out and make it nice and smooth again. If you find that that's all that's in there, sure, smoothing it out will be absolutely fine, cleaning it up, put the valve back in service, you'll be okay. But if you look at this particular O-ring bore and you see a lot of deep pits, or any washing, for example, the water has literally washed the bronze away, the valve would have to be replaced. Now I'm asked, how could that possibly occur? Well, you know, why would it be washed away? Well, when that O-ring ultimately fails on the stem, instead of the water flowing across the seat, it basically just moves by the O-ring. And water, for those that don't realize it, water is very, very abrasive. In fact, nowadays we use water to cut metal and to cut various materials. Water jet cutting is what I'm referring to. So that water is abrasive and it will eventually eat up that bore. So when you go to repair your Model 500 XL, my suggestion to all my customers is take the valve apart, inspect that bore thoroughly, and as long as that bore can be cleaned up and polished up with a little sandpaper, a rebuild will be absolutely fine. Again, if you get in there and you find this particular O-ring bore is washed out, it's got any grooves in it, the valve at that point in time would have to be replaced. With respect to any other component in the valve, there really isn't anything else that could cause the valve not to work when you repair it. So again, just be very cautious about your O-ring bore. Once you find that it's good and clean or you've cleaned it up and there's no pitting, put your parts in there and I can assure you, your rebuild will be very effective. Now, as you go along, if you have any questions about this, don't hesitate to call us here at Zern Industries. Our customer care team can walk you through this rebuild. If you get deeper than what they can handle, certainly they'll pass it on to an engineer like myself, and we'd be more than pleased to discuss this with you. So give us a call if you have any questions.